Hi, this is Simon and welcome to another Marvelous Videos. The Continental Hotels stand out as one of the fundamental tools in the functions of the High Table, the organization that monitors the underworld activities all over the world. These hotels provide a safe haven for the assassins and also provide a neutral ground for business to be conducted. In the course of the movies, it has been revealed that the Continental Hotels are spread all over the world in every major city. In this video, we will take a look at every major Continental Hotel in the John Wick franchise and their activities. But before we go into our explanation, we do have a very small request. If you like our channel and our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. New York Continental The New York branch of the Continental Hotel is one of the most important ones in the entire franchise because a lot of the story arcs and the twists and turns take place in this hotel. The New York Continental is run by John Wick's old and trusted friend Winston and his concierge Sharon also helps him in the smooth running of the hotel. These characters played by Ian McShane and Lance Reddick have been the heart of the franchise and they have slipped into these roles effortlessly. Any assassin affiliated with the high table can check in any time they want for business purposes. All they need to pay is a nominal fee of the specialized gold coin that is prevalent in the assassin world. After John Wick's dog is killed by Yosef and his men, the seasoned assassin, goes on a revenge spree and checks into the Continental Hotel. Both Winston and Sharon are respectful of John Wick and their special relationship is revealed in the later movies, when we get to see their clear bias for the titular hitman. In the first movie, John is provided with prompt medical services and a special laundry service for his bloody suit, and Winston also provides him valuable tips regarding the location of Yosef and his father, the Russian crime lord Vigo. In the second movie, Winston watches helplessly as John shoots Santino, dead on the hotel premises, thereby breaking a sacred rule that no violence can be conducted on continental grounds. As a result, Winston is duly bound to declare John excommunicado, but he delays it by an hour to give John a head start and fighting chance to survive. In John Wick Chapter 3, New York Continental is decon consecrated by the adjudicator sent by the high table because of Winston's unfair help to John. Initially, Winston is ordered to step down as the manager, but his refusal brings an entire army of the high table. After a violent confrontation ends in victory for Winston and his men, he manages to broker a truce with the adjudicator and gets the hotel status reinstated along with his position. However, Winston's betrayal does not remain unnoticed for long, and the high table soon finds out he had tricked them into believing that he had killed John Wick in the climate climatic moments of the third John Wick movie. In the recent release, John Wick Chapter 4, Marquis Vincent de Gramont is tasked with the punishment for Winston as he shoots Sharon dead in front of the manager after demolishing the hotel to the ground. Finally, according to the terms of the fateful duel between John and Vincent de Gramont, Winston gets his position back and Continental New York is rebuilt following John's victory. The best part about the Continental New York is the presence of a capable concierge, Sharon, alongside the wise and experienced manager who understands all the tricks of the trade. They are both extremely resourceful, and this branch of the Continental offers John some invaluable help, from providing a shelter for his dog to assisting him in staying one step ahead of the enemy. For the exterior shot to the hotel, the crew used the Beaver Building, which is the at the intersection of Wall Street, Beaver Street, and Pearl Street. For the scenes filmed inside the hotel, they used a nearby facility called Delmonico's. The New York's Continental is the perfect mix of classy and historic architecture with adequate modern modernization. Osaka Continental. We rank this a solid second in terms of importance because Osaka Continental plays a crucial role in John Wick's survival in John Wick Chapter 4. After he is relentlessly being tracked and hunted by the hordes of assassins who want to claim the big bounty on his head, a helpless John Wick heads to Japan to get some help from an old friend, Shimazu Koji. He is the manager of the Osaka Continental and his daughter, Akira, has the same responsibilities as Sharon does in the New York Continental. This is also the only Continental hotel where we see two members of a family working together. It is probably because of how well-trained Akira is that Koji trusts her with all the safekeeping of the hotel, despite the risks associated. Other continental managers seen in the franchise are lone wolves, with their families kept away in a mysterious location for their safety. In this movie, Koji readily offers John shelter and protection, even after knowing the consequences of antagonizing the high table, and he chooses to fight the superior forces, risking his own life for John. The Osaka Continental is easily a 
among the fanciest and most premium among the Continental hotels that we've seen. The entire building has been modernized in line with the rest of the city, and the fall of Osaka Continental is a memorable moment in the movie. The hotel is deconsecrated for offering a safe residence for John, and a defiant Koji decides to fight back. Koji, Akira, and their men put up a brave fight alongside John Wick, but the forces led by the blind assassin Kane soon overpower them. It still buys John and Akira enough time to escape, as Koji delays the pursuit by sacrificing his life. More than the impressive Osaka Continental, it is the loyalty and bravery of the manager that impresses us the most. The Moroccan Continental We don't get to see much of the Moroccan Continental Hotel in the movies, but we see enough of the manager of this facility to confidently say that the hotel runs like clockwork. Sophia Al Azwar, played by Halle Berry, is perhaps one of the most badass Continental managers that we've seen so far. She also appears to be among the youngest, which suggests that she has been up to some serious business to achieve this status so early. We encounter the manager of the Moroccan Continental during the event of John Wick Chapter 3, when John heads to her for some help regarding his meeting with the leader of the high table. She reluctantly agrees because of a previous blood oath, and the two also become a part of one of the most memorable fight scenes in the franchise, after her dogs are attacked by a mob boss. Unfortunately, John never gets a chance to check into the Moroccan continental, but the efficiency and fierce courage of Sophia are enough to suggest that this particular continental hotel is in safe hands. Will it be deconsecrated for Sophia's assistance to John? Well, we'll have to find out and wait, because the movie does doesn't offer much regarding the fate of the Moroccan Continental and Sophia. The Rome Continental We get to see the Rome Continental in John Wick Chapter 2, after John is forcibly given the task of assassinating Santino D'Antonio's sister, Gianna, in Rome. Santino employs John's services by evoking the power of a previous marker that he had signed, and after successfully completing the hit job, John is confronted by Gianna's trusted bodyguard, Cassian. They engage in a fierce duel across the streets of Rome, and they both seem to be evenly matched in terms of skill. What looks like a brutal stalemate is soon interrupted after John and Cassian break through the window of the Rome Continental while fighting. They are immediately reminded of the fundamental rule of non-violence on hotel grounds, and the two men abide by their rules like true professionals and share a drink together. Julius, the manager of this branch of the Continental, is played by popular Western star Franco Nero, who stars in this crucial cameo. The crew decided to film near Piazza. Venezia for the scenes in this hotel and it looked almost every bit as glamorous as the New York Continental. Continental El Paso from the John Wick comics. Beside all the Continental hotels seen in the John Wick movies, the comic book story arc also introduces a Continental branch. This comic book storyline takes place before the events of the first John Wick movie, and it has been considered to be canonical. The narrative introduces John to Sharon after John saves his life from a bunch of assassins. As a mark of his gratitude, Sharon leads John into the local Continental hotel, Continental El Paso. It is not as glamorous and as fancy as some of the Continental hotels that you see in the movies, but the insides are still quite cosy and comfortable. Even in the comic books, the Continental Hotel seems to have the same fundamental rule, where no violence is permitted on the hotel premises. It seems like before Sharon took charge of the Continental New York as a concierge to Winston, he served in Continental El Paso. Even then, he had the same conviction and confidence in dealing with business as he did during the movies. Will we see a Continental Los Angeles soon? A John Wick spin-off mini-TV series called The Continental has been announced, and there have been announcements suggesting that this show would explore the origin story and early life of characters like Winston and Sharon. There were reports that the series would explore the Southern California branch of the Continental Hotel, and Continental Los Angeles could well be one of the fanciest hotels that you've ever seen so far. So you can expect an element of casinos in the story if we indeed come across the Los Angeles branch of the Continental. However, nothing has been finalized so far, and it might so happen that the showrunners finally decide to stick to the historic New York branch for the narrative. What are the common features of every Continental Hotel? There is a great unity in diversity among the various branches of Continental Hotel, and despite all their differences in size, magnitude, location, and grandeur, they have certain underlying common features. Firstly, every Continental Hotel is ancient and has been in service for decades. Even the fanciest versions, such as Osaka Continental, have been in business for a very long time, and it has simply undergone a lot of upgrades over the years. Secondly, the Continental Hotels reflect the 
with local culture and traditions in a way. This can be observed in the architectural style, interior decorations, and even the food that is served. Even the grandeur of the hotel somewhat depends on the location, and it runs by the simple rule of thumb that the more important locations get the grander versions. Thirdly, the common rules of the high table, such as the clause of no violence on continental grounds, are observed across all the hotel branches, irrespective of the location. Even the rules of deconsecrating the continental hotel remains the same, where the sanctuary of the hotel premises is withdrawn following any major uplaw act or defiance shown by the manager. Both Winston and Shimazu Koji pay the price for helping John Wick during his excommunicado status, and both continental hotels are deconsecrated. Lastly, all of the continental hotels offer the basic services that include a well-maintained bar, physician and medical assistants, arms and ammunition, and various others. It can also be observed that the manager of these hotels wields a lot of power in the local functioning of the underworld, and their command is often the rule. The managers are also local of the land, and everyone from Winston to Sophia to Koji are local people who know their city inside out. It is fascinating how the continental grounds almost serve as an unofficial outlet for the high table, where the most important parts of their business are conducted without the outside world getting a whiff of the practice. Do let us know in the comments below what you think about the continental hotels in the John Wick franchise. Also, tell us which continental branches, apart from New York, impressed you the most and why. Thank you.